Operation New Start Casey is a re-engagement program for kids that are considered to be at educational risk. We try and build their self-confidence, we try and build their self-esteem, we try and build their ability to work as an individual, we try and build their ability to work in a team. A theory we use on the program is narrative therapy. We use it to help us work with the kids to explore what their life story looks like. We make it a focus on the first day and ask them to reflect on their reputation at school and in the broader society. And we hope that through exploring their life story and using our road cards, they can come with a certain life story, change that life story as they progress through the program, and then leave with a different picture of the reputation they want to build and the person they want to be from there on. Maybe think about all the stuff I was actually bad at. Make me like, think about how much stuff I'm going to fail in life if I keep doing this. Okay. All right. What's that big picture look like at the end? Not good. Not flash. Yeah. The welfare side of our program is a crucial element. Having Courtney from YSAS and Matt from Headspace as part of our facilitation team, it gives us referral points for these kids when we have bigger issues to deal with. So if there's a mental health based issue or a family based issue, we certainly have the support avenues with those, with those guys in particular, but there are agencies behind us as well to get out there and help in whatever aspect of life that it is we need to help with that kid. Part of the reason why we came onto this program is to give it a holistic approach so that we can work together with the young person, gain the rapport, give them the ongoing mental health support that they may need after the program. So nothing's safe. Um, so you, and just be careful where you're at. I mean, it engages the kids and helps them build on their life skills, resilience, as well as coping mechanisms and strategies that they can take out of school and re-engage that back into school. Our focus on community engagement helps the kids get a bigger picture on the world around them. Working in a team to explore the city by completing the amazing race, completing CFA training so they can help themselves and others in case of an emergency, working in a factory at Waverley Industries with people that have a variety of disabilities, volunteering some time at Bikes for Life, helping to fix bikes for underprivileged kids from all around the world, they see that helping others can be very rewarding. Personal development activities allow the kids to learn practical life skills that they can utilise from that day forward. First aid training, self-defence, resume writing, sexual health, swim safety, reach workshops, TAFE are all activities that help the kids understand their place in the world and set up plans for the future. Always crucial that we get our guest facilitators right on the program and it takes years to build up the catalogue of um, good activities or appropriate activities and um, for guest facilitators that are going to take our kids through activities. People like um, Peter Hitchin are taking us on the Channel 9 studio tour absolutely brilliant. He engages with the kids, he asks them about their life story and where they're from and, and the kids get a real sense of this guy actually does um, care a bit about us and, and is interested in our lives and for a celebrity like Peter to do that, um, absolutely fantastic on our program. Motley, brilliant facilitator, uh, the way he engages and he has street cred so the kids just are drawn to him. Um, the fact that they're doing an engaging activity that involves literacy totally goes out the window for them. They don't get that, that, that whole connection. But getting kids engaged that don't normally write much, to write some lyrics about how their life is and, and then express that and then record that in a studio booth is a pretty big activity and something you wouldn't be able to do with a normal school group. But Motley's able to do that because he just has that level of engagement that draws the kids forward. Get out, get out, get out of my head These voices so loud, just want them dead Their words so cool, about how he betrayed us Just being on my own was getting dangerous Mum started drinking, I gave it a try The voices felt silent, everything felt fine I took it to school, got caught in stage 3 Now I'm in a new start, might just have saved me Adventure activities are a large focus of the program We use them to build resilience, 
self-confidence and self-esteem. This helps the kids cope with stressful situations and learn to work as a team. magnificent team building experience. The guys absolutely rely on each other to get through. And all the teamwork that is involved in the communication in a, in a really isolated place, it really brings to the fore the leaders in the group. They all realise that they have to support each other in some way to get through it. We use a lot of the adventure activities along the program to build up towards the, the last, or the second last week of the program, which is the expedition. The expedition is all about testing their skills and, and putting them in survival situations where they have to use some independent thought and process, but then focus on the team as well. It's a test, it's a physical test, it's a mental test. It can be stressful, it can put kids in a panic situation. And we're here to help them and support them through that and give them strategies to, to help them stop from panicking. And that, that's a real life skill. Putting them out on solo, um, building their own shelter, giving that, them that independence, giving them that solo time where they've got 12 hours out in the bush where they can't talk to anyone. A lot of these kids wouldn't have experienced that. It certainly builds up their, their own courage and their own independence. And when they come in in the morning and they're proud, the smiles are massive. Quite often, they'll even ask to do it again the following night. The teamwork, the encouragement, the bonding that happens on a, on a three-day camp or a four-day camp, absolutely crucial to our program and, and the way we work together. We love that experience. We love the three-day hike. We love getting them over some mountains. We love pushing them hard to get to a reward. So hiking up a mountain to see that view at the top and then sitting down and appreciating what we have, that's a big part of what we do. I really enjoy having like a small group of kids. It makes it easier to get to know them a lot more and take them to do stuff they've never, like, most of them never done before and seeing them like grow from like week one to like week eight is like unbelievable. Graduation ties everything together that we've done on the program. It's the culmination of all the skills and, and tasks that we've done throughout the program, building the confidence of these kids up to uh, get up and and speak in front of a crowd and their parents and uh, relatives, some special guests that we have invited along, our sponsors and, and that sort of thing. Getting up and, and making that speech and, and recognising the fact that they're, they've made some changes in their life and they've moved on and they've become a new, better version of themselves. And they're ready to recognise that and they're ready to share that with the people around them that, that care about them. And that step in itself and the actual acknowledgement that they've done these things that they've never done before and that they're capable people is the finishing touch that we need on the program. Our schools appreciate what we do. Um, they are super supportive of the program and they want the program to survive and, and thrive in any way that it possibly can. We seek support from agencies um, outside of Operation New Start and outside of the Education Department. We seek philanthropic funding, we seek grants, um, everything we can do um, to keep this place uh, running, to keep it servicing the community, to keep it making kids' lives better. And that's really what we're here for.